7.4, number 15. I couldn't fit this one on the last video clip, so I'm going to do this one and then another one that gives a lot of students trouble, which is number 17 on this video clip. All right, here we've got some more rational expressions being added, different denominators. This one's messier than the other ones in the other clip because it's harder to find the LCD. So first thing you want to do is factor every denominator. And that way we can see what factors it's built out of. And now we look for the LCD. And to build the LCD, take the first denominator entirely, multiply that by any factor in the second denominator that's not already contained here. And there's no 7. And there is no z as a separate factor. z is here as part of another factor, a binomial. But z by itself is not there yet, so we're going to multiply that in. z by itself is already here. z plus 6 binomial is already here. So this will be our LCD right here. 7z times z plus 6. And now we want to rewrite each fraction so it has the LCD as the denominator. So what we're going to do is look for each denominator if it's missing a piece or a factor from the LCD. And if it is missing one, we're going to multiply it in, top and bottom. So first I'm just going to rewrite the entire expression. And I'll leave it in factored form for the denominators. So the first one, z plus 6, compare it to the LCD the 7z is missing. So that means we're going to multiply by 7z top and bottom. 7z, the z plus 6 is missing. z plus 6, top and bottom. z, z plus 6, the 7 is missing. Multiply 7 top and bottom. And that's going to give us 14z plus, and now I'm going to distribute the 9 onto the z plus 6, 9z plus 54, plus, and 12 times 7 is 84, all over the common denominator of 7z, z plus 6. And now we want to combine like terms, factor, and cancel to get in lowest terms. So 14 and 9 gives us 23z. 54 and 84 will give us 138. All over 7z, z plus 6. And here if you divide 138 by 23, you'll see that that gives um, a 6 left over here. So we're going to take out the 23, leaving us with a z plus 6. And that's all over the common denominator. 7z, z plus 6, and now we can cancel z plus 6 top and bottom, and we get our final answer, 23 over 7z. And let's try one more, number 17. All right, number 17 has different denominators, but they're very similar. They're only different because their signs are different. So here we have a plus y minus 9. Here we have a plus 9 minus y. So what you want to do in this case is rewrite one of them to look like the other one. So I'm going to rewrite this guy um, to look like the y minus 9. So first reorder it, minus y plus 9. And remember, when you change order of things, you want to keep the sign in front of it with, with the term. And this almost looks the same, except this one has the minus signs in the wrong place. So if I factor out the minus sign, it makes everything change signs on the inside. And now I have y minus 9, y minus 9, with that extra minus sign there. But that's okay. It's easy to take care of, because what I want to do is make my LCD equal to the simpler of the two, which is y minus 9. And I'm going to rewrite the expression we have. Now we have 2 over y minus 9 plus 1 over minus y minus 9. So if I want the LCD of y minus 9, 
this one needs to multiply by a minus 1, top and bottom. That's going to cancel out and give me the y minus 9 as the um, denominator. So now I have 2 over y minus 9 plus a negative 1 over y minus 9. And that gives me 2 plus minus 1 over y minus 9 or 1 over y minus 9. And that's the final answer. And there is a quicker way to deal with these also. So if I look back at the top again, and let's call this the shortcut. So if I started with 2 over y minus 9 plus 1 over 9 minus y, as soon as you see you got one of those things happening where you got different signs but the exact same terms, then right away just rewrite the first one and then here change the sign on top and make the other one exactly the same. And that's going to work every time you have that situation. And then from there, it's the same as the other work I showed before. All right, so the longer way that I showed first shows you why it's okay to do that. But once you're okay with it and you're, you believe that it is okay to do that, the shortest thing to do and the easiest thing to do is just switch the sign of the second one and then make it look the same as the other guy and go on from there. And that's number 17.